Hello, welcome to another video of the ongoing web development series. In the previous video, we made this full screen landing page. In this video, I want to add a full screen section with three CSS cards. As I told in previous video, I observed designs of CSS cards from sites like Google and Dribble to come up with this design. We are going to build this design today. So without any further ado, let's jump right into code. You can see that I have already copied these logos to my project folder. I will provide link to these photos down in the description. Now I will open Sublime Text. Previously, we just had full screen landing page, so it was okay to keep all the HTML elements inside body tag. But now I want to add more content to my web page. So I will now wrap everything from previous video inside a div and give it a class name of header. And in style.css, I will give background image to the header instead of body. I will give it height of 100 viewport height. And now the contents inside the header will be a full viewport height and we will have same full screen landing page that we previously had. You can see that we still have full screen landing page. Now I will add HTML for this design. I will add new div for our new section about web technologies. Inside this section, I will have heading and these three cards. These three cards need to be in a div so that I can align it horizontally. So I will wrap these three divs inside a div with class cards. This div will have three cards. This div with class card will wrap each card. Inside each card, there will be an image and a div for this heading and paragraph. And we will have two more of these cards. Let me take a look in the browser now. Oops, let me change source for logo and heading in second and third card. Now let me style this. To the web text class, I will give it full viewport height and give it some dark background color. You can see that in the design we have different background. We will change this later. But for now I will give this dark background. You can see that our content is more than 100 vh. So we have dark background only up to this region. Although these contents too are inside web text. We will fix it later. I will now center align its contents. I will change its flex direction to column because this heading and these cards are aligned vertically and the default direction for flex is horizontal. I will align its items to center. I will make its color white. I will make this heading bigger now. Now I will change styles for these cards. All these three cards in, are inside this div with the class of cards. So I will display it flex so that it will be aligned horizontally. I'll make it with 90% and align it in center by margin 0 auto so that we will have space at sides. I will restrict its width to 1200 pixels so that it won't be too big in larger screens too. You can see that in bigger screen too, it is not exceeding the width of 1200 pixel. When we set both width and max width property to certain element, it will try to occupy the width specified in the width property. But the width will be restricted to the width specified in max width property. In our case, cards will try to occupy 90% of the width. But if that 90% width is more than 1200 pixel, then the width of 1200 pixel will be applied. Let me now align the contents horizontally. I'll justify content space around. Now each card will have width of 40% so 3 cards will occupy total of 90% and remaining 10% will be used to add space around these cards. You can see that these paragraphs to have Montserrat font so I will give one family letter to all the p tags. Now this paragraph has letter font. 
you can see that i have added some basic styles box shadow may be new to you so i will demonstrate this to you on code pen before demonstrating box shadow let me fix the image overflowing out of the deep by giving image width of 100% now it looks good code pen is online code editor where you can instantly start writing html css and javascript you don't need to do any setup so this website is effective to try out small things and see how it works without affecting our real project i'll create a div with class of card and have heading inside it in css i will set its width height and give it a border you can see life changes when I edit these parameters here. For the box shadow, its first parameter is horizontal offset. You can see that adding 10 pixel to the first parameter offsets the shadow to 10 pixel horizontally. And its second parameter is vertical offset. Its third parameter is for blur radius. So higher the value of third parameter, higher the shadow will be blurred and fourth parameter is for spread radius and you can also specify the color but the default color is black and these horizontal and vertical offsets are compulsory you must specify it but blur radius and spread radius aren't compulsory these are zero pixel by default you can see in our code that i have three pixel of horizontal and vertical offset and 8 pixel blur radius and for this color i have picked this light sky blue color from css logo using color picker tool now i will fix these heading and paragraphs i have added these basic styles so that heading and paragraph will look better you can see that we have some space around this heading and paragraph in our design so now i will select this div which wraps our heading and paragraph and provide some padding to it finally it's now time to change background for this web text class now in web text class instead of background color i will specify background image property for it and give radial gradient here and this color is uh, this darker blue color from the logo of css you can play around and see how radial gradient works in code pane but basically it is just like linear gradient it creates radial background according to the specified colors we have finally created the desired design so this much for today i will provide github link to this code in the description feel free to comment your queries and leave a like if you appreciate the content bye bye